everyone and welcome to this uh, another video uh, in today's session i will discuss about what exactly is sap s4 hana public cloud so this is actually the series of uh, different videos today i'm starting with this overview to sap s4 hana public cloud and then in the coming days uh, i'll be also publishing the videos on overview to sap s4 hana public cloud from the finance point of view from the sales point of view and then from the sourcing and procurement point of view we already conducted one batch on uh, we started with the uh, fundamentals on public cloud batch and then we conducted the batch on sap s4 hana public cloud for finance so we have a complete courses available on the fundamentals of public cloud as well as uh, the detailed course on how sap s4 hana finance works in public cloud so in case if you uh, want to learn completely from the finance perspective you can definitely go through that course which is available through our website that is gauravconsulting.com and which will uh, help you to learn sap s4 hana uh, finance from the public cloud perspective in detail so let's come to the topic today's topic is overview to sap s4 hana public cloud the goal of this video is to uh, build the awareness and conceptual clarity about SAP S4 HANA public cloud, what exactly is public cloud, how is it different from the other deployment models and why companies are moving towards it. So I, I don't need to say, I think everybody is already aware that cloud is the future. So many consultants who are currently working on SAP S4 HANA on premise or private cloud definitely in some of the years it will become kind of mandatory to learn public cloud because there are many projects which are already started on the public cloud and other projects are definitely on pipeline so let's uh, go through the overview to sap s4 hana public cloud now in this session we will understand below topics we will first understand what is sap s4 hana public cloud then we will compare with sap s4 hana private cloud or on premise system we will also understand some key terminologies which are used in public cloud, what are the business benefits, and finally, the system landscape of the public cloud system. Let's get started with uh, the what exactly is SAP S4 HANA public cloud. So SAP S4 HANA public cloud, it is a software as a service. Okay, it is a software as a service ERP from SAP, and it is based fit for the new customers with minimal customization requirements right this is something which is very important because you know uh, if you already worked on sap s4 hana on premise or private cloud uh, you must be knowing that in case of on premise or private cloud sap provides full control on the customizations we can decide uh, which features we want to use we can decide which features we want to customize sap provides the full code right through a map we can write a lot of customizations we can create a lot of RISEF objects but when it comes to the public cloud there are limitations in terms of the customizations and that is the reason it is a base fit for only those customers who are having minimal customizations uh, requirement and they are open to adopt the pre-delivered sap based practices Right, SAP also provides the base practices in case of on-premise and private cloud also. But as I told you, in case of private cloud, we have the option of customization, which is restricted in terms of the public cloud. And that is the reason only those customers who are ready to adopt the pre-delivered SAP base practices, they are the good fit for SAP S4 HANA public cloud. As I told you, it is not like we cannot do the customizations in public cloud, but the customizations can be done with lot of limitations. Okay, maybe in this session itself, we will also understand how those customizations are possible. Now, second thing is it is based on the SAP S4 HANA platform, or you can say HANA platform, which is a database uh, similar to what we are using in on-premise. Uh, it is definitely the next generation ERP and it is also built in in-memory platform of HANA database. Right, so this is common. I'm not saying this is something new compared to on-premise system. Now, most important thing, it is fully managed by SAP. So infrastructure, upgrade, security, everything is handled by SAP. Because SAP is the one who is providing you the infrastructure. SAP is the one who is managing the upgrades. Now, upgrades means, you know, different versions. 
when it comes to sap s4 hana on premise you might be knowing that there are different versions it started from 1511 then 1610 then 1709 and the latest one which is which was launched few days back was 2025 So if you see the cycle from the on-premise perspective, the versions were coming every year earlier. Now, if you look, there was no separate version in 2024. So after 2023, the uh, direct release, which is uh, which is available now, is 2025. So now, maybe going forward, the upgrades from the on-premise perspective will be available after every two years. But when it comes to SAP S4 on a public cloud, the upgrades are available twice a year. okay every year we get two new versions from sap uh, for public cloud and normally those are available in the february and august month that is the reason if you look at sap s4 hana public cloud versions you will find that the first two characters okay example i will write it here the first two characters are the year and the next two characters is a month okay so 2502 means it was launched in february 2025 and the latest one which is available in public cloud is 2508 which means it was launched in august 25 so all these upgrades are managed by sap in terms of on premise if a customer has implemented let's say 2023 version customer can decide whether they want to go for 2025 or not but when it comes to the public cloud it is not a choice of the customer sap will automatically upgrade to the latest version right so that is something which is you know a good point from the customer points point of view they don't need to worry about the upgrades they need to have the uh, like they don't need to worry about the infrastructure they don't need the team to take care of the infrastructure and upgrades it would be completely managed by sap now what is the core idea the core idea is that if you if your customer is ready to follow the standardized business processes okay there is no on premise maintenance right so you don't have any hardware which needs to be maintained on premise and that is the reason it can save a lot of cost and the focus is on the business innovation not on the system management right so that is the reason this is being adopted by the customers all over the world these are some of the core benefits we can say now although i already compared the uh, private cloud versus on premise but just few points if i miss something So if you look at the different deployment models which are available from SAP I think all of you are already aware about the on premise uh, then SAP came up with private cloud so what is the basic difference between on premise and private cloud the software is the same okay software allows you full control you can do whatever customizations you want but the question is about the infrastructure in case of on premise system we need to install the infrastructure in companies own servers right so customers needs to purchase the infrastructure and they need to install but if you talk about the private cloud the infrastructure is hosted by sap right otherwise you can see full customizations here here also you are getting full uh, flexibility to customize your solution okay and obviously in case of on premise if a customer is responsible to purchase the infrastructure and maintain the you know upgrades and all there will be heavy maintenance and longer upgrade cycles but now when it comes to the public cloud public cloud offers multi tenant software as a service model what do you mean by multi tenant so normally uh, the same infrastructure which is being provided by sap can be used by multiple customers at the same time so even if a customer is a very small okay let's say you are implementing a sap s4 hana public cloud for a very small or a medium size customer in that particular case also uh, it is it the infrastructure will be shared by uh, multiple customers so that uh, like there is no load on that database uh from the scope point of view it is predefined scope so whatever already provided by sap we can only implement that much scope using the best practices and as i told you automatic quarterly upgrades are available there is no need to perform the upgrades from the customer side it would be managed by sap itself coming to the key characteristics or key you know there are some uh, terminologies that we use in the public cloud uh, system number 1 is clean core okay clean core means again the standard sap processes there is no core modification possible 
as I told you whatever is provided by SAP we cannot do much of customizations in the core system if the customizations are required it has been made possible with the extensibility options which are provided through BTP okay so this is something new this is something which is uh, not allowing you to change the core but it allows you to do very small customizations via the extensibility options and BTP as a tool okay so in, in my course we also covered what are these extensibility options and all if you want to go into detail but otherwise just remember as of now that there are you know there are a lot of limitations in terms of the customizations and customizations cannot be done on the core system the customizations can only be done with the extensibility options which are also provided with a lot of restrictions okay then automatic upgrades we already discussed as i told you there are two versions every year every year in feb and august sap releases a new version on public cloud uh, customer focus is on testing not the technical upgrades so upgrades will be performed by sap customers requirement is to verify uh, perform the regression testing to verify that everything is working fine after the upgrades okay on that also sap has provided the automation testing tools okay which can reduce a uh, work for the customer also it is a subscription model it is pay as you go which means today you are not buying any uh, you know uh, capital infrastructure that is the reason it is called as a opex module operational expenses so it is just like a subscription basis there is no upfront infrastructure investment required okay and obviously we are going for the fit to standard which means whatever standard functionalities are provided by sap we need to fit the requirement of the customer to ensure that they are following the base practices so we are implementing the base practices instead of rebuilding our old processes coming to the business benefits so these are some of the benefits for the customers for the it teams and for the business users so for the customers obviously faster time to value why because there is no wastage of time required to you know set up the infrastructure there is no wastage of time required to uh, you know do the customizations because we need to start with the base practices okay reduced total cost of ownership because as we discussed everything is operational expenses there is no capex involved here continuous innovation as we discussed sap is providing upgrades every six months so there are a lot of new features including the ai adoption automation and analytics which are coming uh, which are being delivered by sap on the regular basis and global compliance because sap knows what are the different countries and what are the different regulation requirements from the different countries so in the base practices content itself sap has included the global compliance for many of the countries okay it is available as out of the box feature from the it team perspective there is no basis or infra management required directly from the customer side now this is definitely required from the sap side but from the it team internal it team from the customer there is no basis or infra management required the focus is on the integration and process optimization okay so integration options are available again with the help of btp and all there are you can integrate the non sap systems to the sap system easy scalability so today if you want to start with let's say 50 licenses tomorrow your company is growing you want to purchase more licenses that is easily possible and from the business users point of view everything is available via fiori no more traditional gui so uh, as you know in case of on premise and private cloud systems we were using the transaction codes old gui screens those are not at all possible with sap s4 hana public cloud it is completely built on fiori platform which you know is very easy and you know simple to use also uh, sap s4 hana public cloud provides the embedded analytics features right so there are a lot of inbuilt analytics there is no need of separate bw bi system there are a lot of reports analytics which are available as a pre-built within the public cloud system itself and it is mobile ready so obviously when we are using fiori there are a lot of applications which can be directly executed from the mobile itself so someone who is you know at the senior management level and they uh, don't want to dip to be dependent on the laptops or computers to do the approvals and all that that can be easily done on the mobile devices and maybe the final topic for today the system landscape so 
system landscape is very much similar to the private cloud because now we are talking about the latest version previously in public cloud uh, there were there used to be uh, no development system okay it was directly the test system and the production system but that is past let's talk about what is available today so if i talk about the today uh, in public cloud also we follow three system landscape uh, we have the development system test system and production system similar to what we do in on premise and private cloud so development system is available to perform the configuration and test test system is used for the uh, business users to perform the integration and the unit uh, user acceptance test and production system obviously is used to carry out the day to day activities in the real time environment now in addition to this three systems we also have a starter system which is provided by sap which has all the best practices activated this system is normally used to conduct the fit to standard workshops so as you know uh, or if you don't know at this stage what is fit to standard workshops i would request you to go through one of my video on the youtube which is on sap activate methodology so when it comes to sap s4 hana uh, private cloud on premise or public cloud implementation we follow sap activate methodology and in sap activate methodology one of the important phase where we collect the uh, requirement from the business and we you know set up the design is the explore phase and in explore phase we perform the fit to standard workshops we carry out the fit to standard workshop where we show and tell we uh, we conduct the show and tell sessions where we show them how sap processes actually works and collect the uh, you know either fit or gap from the customer so if the process that we are showing if it is fitting the requirement of the customer this will be called as a fit but if the process that we are showing is not meeting the requirement of the customer it may be termed as gap right so the starter system is a system that we use in order to provide this demonstrations and conduct the fit to standard workshops so normally the starter system is available during the implementation once our system is live then we may not need the starter system but as you know development test and production system will remain throughout the life cycle of the sap system so that was about uh, the very high level overview on sap s4 hana public cloud uh, as i told you in the next video i'll be uh, speaking about the finance processes in public cloud and then sales processes and then sourcing and procurement processes also as i told you this was a very high level understanding but in case if you are already working on the project or you know if you are ready to learn in detail there are courses available on our platform which are on public cloud so these two courses are already available overview to sap s4 hana fundamentals it is around uh, 10 to 12 hours of course which will help you in detail if you are a, maybe the project manager and want to learn what are the different terminologies what are the different activities done in the public cloud implementation project you can go through uh, this first course and the second one obviously this is for the finance consultants if you are already working as an sap finance consultant in on premise or private cloud and want to upgrade uh, you are learning to the public cloud then maybe this is a course for you thank you all and see you in the next video bye